It's been a while since I made a video on Raspberry Pi's IFTTT and Google Assistant, um, so let's remake an old video I made. So um, I'm going to be using Python this time as a backend instead of Apache and PHP because I don't really like those. Uh, I have this window up. Let me max. Uh, let me zoom in for you guys so you can see. Um, so yeah, we're going to be using Wiring Pi library that we all uh, used last time. That's already pre-installed. Um, or no, it's not pre-installed. It's in the Debian repository, so you can just kind of, um, you can just kind of get it from there. Uh, let me show you. If you just enter this command, it'll search uh, all the repository, or not all the repositories, but you know the repositories that you can get. Um, it already says I have it installed, so I'm not going to install it again. We're also going to be using Flask, so. Um, we're going to install that using uh, the apt package manager as well because I don't like pip. You would do um, install instead of search, but this is uh, this is to show you that it actually does exist. Let me just actually find it. And it's right here. Python 3-flask. I have it installed, so yeah, whatever. Uh, this is this little script I made. Okay, so this is the um, this is a script we're importing OS because we're going to be needing to send uh, commands to the operating system, the command line, whatever. We're importing Flask because we need to import Flask. This is an app route for the default uh, route. We don't really need this. I just kind of put it here just to have something here. Uh, then we created two, or then we um, I created uh, two routes, one for on and one for off. These both um, uh, run this command. So it's GPI mode four out. This happens for both of them. I don't really know why. I kind of just like keeping some of the stuff consistent that I had from um, my previous tutorial. But yeah, uh, this is just setting pin four or uh, wiring pi pin four to out and writing uh, one. Uh, to wiring pi pin 4. I keep on saying wiring pi pin 4 because um, the wiring pi pin out and the uh, GPIO pin out, their, their numbering system is a little bit uh, different. So I'll be posting something uh, in the description to show you how like the, the different things uh, match up. But for now, I, for, just for reference, I think uh, wiring pi pin 4 is around I think it might be GPIO pin 23 that's whatever we have the, um, the actual roots now so let's go to IFTTT uh, I already made this uh, thing so basically Let's go to edit. But, uh, the first, the if is going to be a, say a simple phrase for Google Assistant. It'll bring up a little search thing and then you can search Google Assistant. Uh, you guys probably know how to do that. And um, you can say turn light on or turn light off. You, you can make this as specific or unspecific as you want. Um, I would, uh, I would say try to make it kind of specific because uh, I don't know, just, actually, it doesn't really matter, just make it, uh, say whatever you want to say, uh, I can give you a response back, um, you're gonna need to find your, uh, IP, uh, you can just do that with, um, you can just do, You can just run that command. It'll give you your IP. It doesn't really matter. Um, port forwarding, I'm not going to cover because that depends on your router and it's also in the other video, so you can just go watch that. But you should probably know how to set up port forwarding. Uh, because Flask uses um, port 5000, that is the port you're going to need to forward. So um, to actually run the Flask server, you're going to need to first export 
your um, script file as flask app and it, as like an environment variable. Uh, let me show you how to do that. So this just basically makes a, an, an environment variable called flask app and sets it equal to their test.py. So that when we run this command, um, it will actually know what to actually, or which file our web server is on. And uh, like I said, port 5000 is gonna be here. So uh, if you made two different um, applets, one for on and one for off, right now you could basically say, turn light on and it would turn your light on. And if you wanted to turn your light off, you would just do turn light off and it would hopefully um, toggle your light. Uh, you can extend this to other devices. The um, wiring pi This wiring pi library, it has a good amount of like usage stuff and examples, so you can kind of just experiment all you want with it. So uh, yeah, I think that's the end of this tutorial.